अरे रोहित मेन ब्रांच में कोड फट गया फटाफट उसे चेक करो रोज होता है ना ऐसा अगले तीस सेकंड में स्टैश मेमोरी के बारे में आप सब कुछ सीखने वाले हैं फिर आप कभी परेशान नहीं होंगे सो आई कैन पुट एनी थिंग इन टू स्टैश विच इज एक्चुअली ट्रैक बट इट्स नॉट रेडी टू बी कमिटेड राइट ना मैं इसको कमिट नहीं कर सकता सो हाउ डू आई डू दैट सो आई जस्ट डू गेट पुश आई फन एम एंड देन से दैट दिस इज माई फाइल वन All right. So now when I do get stash list, I will see that I have two elements in my list. My first element, right, which which I gave it a name, it is actually represented very well. Last time when I did stash, I did not give it a name. Now let's say I want to see the content of this stash, right? So what can I do? I can do get stash show option B, and then I can do stash whatever the element I want to check. At this time, you will see that this is the file which is available in my stash. So next time, when you want some changes from the stash memory to come into your working directory, you can check it like this. Now, how do I get these changes back? There are two ways. One, I can do git stash pop. If I do git stash pop, you can see that my file is back. But when I do git stash list, you can see that now I only have one element left in my list. Now, what I also want to do is I want this stash as well. But this time, I want this to remain in the list as well as come into my working directory at that moment i can do git stash apply now you can see that i have both the files in my working directory you can i do git stash list element is still there in the list acha laga na seekh kar achar x ko follow kare aur abhi sabhi doston ke sath share kare taki sabhi kuch na kuch seekh sake aapke liye free hai lekin hamare liye bahut zaruri hai see you in the next one thank you so much